Okay, Joyce, what are we cooking today? Um, we're making winter melon soup. This is a dried mushroom. I pop the stem out, and I don't throw the stem away. It's a lot of flavor. Just boiling water? Just boiling water. When we're making other shrimp thing, and I said, okay, I'll take the shell out, because this is for flavor. Peel this off, right? I'm gonna put it in the soup too. Don't, don't waste food stuff. I'm gonna wash the shell. Let it cook for a little while and then freeze up. I will fish everything out. See that? I mean, you can lay it flat on the cutting pan and do it like this if it scare you. Since I'm putting on in soup, I don't need to wrap it in paper towel. I'm going to put it back into the refrigerator. Seafood like this, it turn on you. Squeeze the juice out, cut the mushroom. Then I'm going to put this in later. Some, some of them are not um, soaking through and through, but it's okay. Because by cutting it this small, it will be okay in the soup. And, and you can buy these mushrooms anywhere? No. You have to buy it in like Chinatown or Japanese place. I see the stem. I'm going to throw it into the soup. The, the juice from the mushroom, I'm going to put it in too. Also, that on the bottom, sometimes have a little sand. That's why slowly, see that I'm not putting those set it on the side and, and use it later. I don't need this. This you can cut it out, right? Where can people get a winter melon? Um, this is pretty much Chinatown. This is fancy Chinese dish. See, I, I don't want the skin. Cut out the skin. In the summertime, there's another soup that you make it like almost like medicinal. Because sometimes, you know, like especially in the in the in the tropic, um, you can get heat stroke. But they make soup with this, but they put the skin in it too. They just get rid of this, and then they put some other beans and stuff like that. If you're doing this much, it makes sense to use the food processor. So now that water is full of flavor. Yeah. Okay. Well. Because this have a lot of water, right? That's why, that's why I didn't put a lot of water in the, to start out. I'm gonna put the mushroom in it too. And I'm just gonna let it cook. I'm gonna put a dash of oil, canola. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it to simmer. It's rolling around, you can hurt yourself. Cut it one side, then it's flat. It's not gonna go anywhere, right? Then you can, you can have better control. I'm gonna julienne it. Cut this small pieces, and then I'm gonna put put it in when when we, before we serving it, because this is all cooked. Usually people put the Chinese type prosciutto ham in it, but you know I didn't end up getting it, and then I said like, ah, you know. It, that's why I said you can adjust, you can modify. That's what make it yours. Okay, I'm gonna put some um, white asparagus. I'm just gonna peel. Because I'm going to chop it up. Just a little crunch, you know, basically. Do it. I'm going to salt it. I tend to not over salt my food. You can always add to it, right? I'm going to throw the asparagus in it. Turn back to higher heat. Because I'm finishing up now, okay? Let it cook a little bit. I'm going to put the shrimp in it too. The shrimp won't take that long to cook. When it turns pink, that's it, you know what I mean? Because I put it in ice water, that's why the, the uh, shells still um, come out really easy. Right? And then I'm going to cut it. Put some soup on the bottom of the bowl. I'm not going to put a lot of soup in here. The ham is already cooked. I'm just going to sprinkle on the side. a little bit more soup to warm up the uh, ham. It's like a work of art. Well, when it looks better, it tastes better. <laughs> right? And that's it. That's it, and let's eat. <laughs>